I've never really done an everyday carry video because what I carry every day, it's not that exciting. Uh, this is one of many bags that I might be carrying around. It's just, I don't carry that much in there. It's kind of a bigger bag right now because I've got a few extra things, but honestly, just my everyday isn't that interesting. But what I think might be interesting, and, and if you do like this sort of thing, let me know. I can turn this into a series because I do tend to travel a fair amount, is when I do go on a trip, I always pack differently. I pack a unique bag every time I go, just depending on what I'm going to need. Am I shooting stills? Am I shooting video? Am I shooting both? Is it a commercial production? Is this just a vacation? Whatever it is, it's gonna be different. So if this is a series that you think you might enjoy, then let me know in the comments, give it a thumbs up and, and I'll do that. So right now I'm gonna unpack my everyday carry that I've been carrying for, I guess, a couple of weeks and repack a bag for this trip. So what is this trip? Well, by the time you're watching this, I can tell you, cause I'll be there right now. It is for the Lumix S1H launch. This is a big event in Hollywood and I'm actually attending not as a Lumix ambassador, which many of you know I am. I'm actually attending this more as traditional press and media. I don't know that much about what's happening. It is uh, going to be a pretty awesome event. I know that. And I'm going to be covering it like everybody else does. So it's kind of a different approach to things. And I'm just going to uh, pack what I need for that. You'll see this equipment wall behind me here. This is new. If you haven't been following along on the podcast, which incidentally, anchor.fm slash photo Joseph, if you haven't yet followed that, Sean Mark Nipper and I have been doing this podcast for a little while now. And in that podcast, I've talked about this shelving system. It's now in place. It's done. It's, you know, I'm sure there's more. I forgot to turn on the LED lights. I don't know if you can actually even see that through there or not. This has been something I've been wanting to put together for a while. It's finally up and it actually makes kind of a cool backdrop for this. All my gear is just laid out nice and easy to see. So uh, I don't know, I, I think it's I think it's kind of cool. All right, let's get started here. So I'm gonna just get rid of whatever's in here to start. Normally I'm just carrying a G9 around. Obviously it does photo and video. It's a good everyday thing to have. Um, this is the Narbox 2.0, which I'm currently testing. This is gonna be released soon. So I am gonna bring that. And all that else is really is in here is a water bottle, headphones, these are older Bose headphones. I just, I really like these. I've gone through a bunch of the big over-ear ones and these tend to be some of the most comfortable for me. And nothing else really big in here. Ah, yes, I will be needing these, the power supply and mouse for the laptop, which I am gonna bring, although I probably don't need it. I'm bringing my iPad, of course, and the laptop. So let's just go ahead and leave those guys in there. So, Narbox is definitely coming with me. The G9 with the 1260 is not. I am gonna be shooting primarily video, so it's gonna be a GH5. With the 818, sadly, the 10 to 25 had to go on to somebody else, so I don't have that one anymore. If I did, that would definitely be the one I'd take. But the 818 will have to do. I do have on the 818 this cool uh, Alter filter holder, the rapid filter system, I believe it was called, with my variable ND on here. This variable ND is the Aurora Power XND, 128 grade. It's been a very good all around variable ND. The thing I like about this, hard stops. Very, very nice. So that'll be coming with me. Just in case I need a little bit of low light performance, I'll bring the 12 millimeter F1.4. Remember the 8 to 18 is an F2.8 to F4. So if I need something a little bit lower light or shallower depth of field, I'll have that with me. And I don't know how much time I'm gonna have hands on with the S1H, but just, just to be sure that when I do have it, I can get us some good shots of it, some good close-ups. I'm gonna bring a macro. I'm just gonna do the 30 millimeter macro. Just, just that's, that should be fine. I may not even use it, but at least then I can get in there and get some tight close-ups. Let's see what else do I want. Um, let me bring a light. This is another brand new product actually just announced today, the day that this video is released. This is from Luma, the makers of the Luma Cube. This little guy here, the Luma Cube, I'm sure you've seen this thing before. Nice little fancy, simple little light. Um, they've got a new product, which is a much more traditional bar type of a light. It's about the size of an iPhone Plus category. And uh, first time I'm using it, I'm gonna bring it on here to see if I wanna add some light into something, but it's a nice little, nice little light. We'll talk about that more in a future video as well. I'm also gonna bring the RGB light. I've done a video on this one before, this bowling RGB. I really, really like this light. If I wanna add some splashes of color to something, this will be handy and obviously it doesn't weigh a whole lot. So that will go with me as well. Probably should bring some memory cards. And I'm gonna bring the GoPro as well. I don't know exactly how this event is gonna go, but having the GoPro with me might be handy. See, is there anything else I want? Oh, I know. I was thinking about bringing a slider 
four shots of the camera. But instead of the slider, I think I'm gonna bring this. This is a fun little toy. It's a, just a little wheeled car, if you will. I can angle the wheels however I like here, tighten that down, and then this will move along a surface. And if I, let's say, give it an angle like so, now it will rotate around a subject, which is kind of neat. So if I wanna do a kind of a tabletop, circle around the camera type of a deal, I'll have that. It's got a small ball head on it. I think I'll bring that. That should fit in here, I think. Incidentally, this bag is the Think Tank Perception Pro. This is actually an older bag that's no longer made. I've done a lot of videos on Think Tank bags. I have a lot of Think Tank bags. I really like Think Tank bags. This one is one that I keep coming back to. It's not a traditional design in that you don't flip open the top and all the gear goes in like this. It's more, it opens this way, this is as far as it opens and the gear drops in like so. So it can be a little bit harder to get to things, but it also means that you're never laying it on its back or on its front to get into the gear. Also, it's one of the few bags, at least the few that I own, that has both a slot for the iPad and for a laptop. So I really like that about it. So I think this is the one that's gonna come with me for this. I think that's, let me check my list. I think that's everything, yes, yes, yes. Oh, tripod, might want a tripod. This is another new tripod I'm trying out. Company sent this out to me. It's gonna look very familiar. I actually did a video on one that looks almost identical to this, but this is a slightly smaller version without the bunny tilting head. It's just a small carbon fiber travel tripod. It's, for being carbon fiber, it's not the lightest weight thing in the world. Anyway, I'm giving this a try until I get that Peak Design travel tripod, which I did order. So I think that's about it. So with any luck, you will be seeing a video about the S1H shortly after its launch. I will be at the bar the night after, furiously editing, trying to get something up to you guys. But in the meantime, this is what I'm gonna take to cover it. Um, oh, I guess I need a microphone, don't I? Should put this in the bag as well. I guess that's about it. I don't know, if I think of something else, I'll be sure to add it in there. Of course, I'm gonna need chargers for a few of these things, so that'll go in, but uh, for the most part, you know, actually, I should show you this. I'm still getting used to where I put everything here. It's just new and it's not completely done. But here it is. I've shown this to you guys before. This is just a bag of cables, but man, this has just become so handy. This has every possible cable. It's got lightning, it's got USB-C, USB-A or B or whatever. Ethernet adapter for my laptop. It's got uh, HDMI adapters. It's got a variety. I mean, it's just got basically every adapter under the sun in there. And then over here, this is one of the coolest parts of this, is instead of having to have plugs for every single USB cable, I have this little block here. This is made from a, by a company called Aukey. It has six USB ports on it. Two of them are uh, three amp chargers, fast chargers. So I'll plug that into something like the iPad or anything that I want to fast charge on there. And this little pack of cables is pretty much a go everywhere with me. Always packed, always ready to go. It's big, it doesn't go in here. This will go into my suitcase carry-on bag as well. And, uh, and I guess that'll be that. Okay. So I guess that's it. The next video you see should be of the S1H launch, 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 launch? From the S1H launch in Hollywood, which is where I'm heading in just a few hours here. That is if my flight doesn't get changed again. It's already changed 30 minutes out. Fingers crossed on that one, all right? See you next time.